Welcome to the UK, where our fish is fried, empire no longer strong, and now we'll send you to jail for aggressing the wrong protected groups on the internet. It's true, hate speech laws exist, and they exist in nations that don't value freedom of thought and expression. We call nations that have hate speech laws authoritarian. <laughs> oh shit, I'm sorry, nations that protect specific groups are righteous havens of positivity, because no one should have to deal with mean words on the internet. We look at the way women are represented in the media, um, and by doing this work I have been the target uh, for three years nonstop um, of egregious online harassment in all levels. Um, I think it's important to to recognize that harassment is, as someone had mentioned, it's not just what is legal and illegal, right? Harassment is uh, threats of violence, but it's also the day-to-day -day grind of you're a liar, you suck, you, you know, making all of these hate videos to attack us on a regular basis and the mobs that come um, from those hate videos, etc. <laughs> yeah. It seems that nations who value group justice usually matriculate into authoritarian nations. So what's currently happening in Britain? Home Secretary Amber Rudd announced a series of measures in which will include improved support for victims and drive to increase the prosecution of those who abuse other internet users based on their race, religion, sexual orientation, disability, or gender. Online hate crime is completely unacceptable. What is illegal offline is illegal online, and those who commit these cowardly crimes should be met with the full force of the law. The National Online Hate Crime Hub that we are funding is an important step to ensure more victims have the confidence to come forward and report the vile abuse to which they are being subjected. Put all that vocal fry what and everything a cunt! In the well, ain't that some shit? I find it funny that Mrs. Amber Rudd feels so virtuous in her actions against those who say mean things on the internet. These actions have been supported by a law in 1986 known as the Hate Speech Law in Britain. Section 18-1 of the Public Order Act of 1986 states that a person who uses threatening, abusive, or insulting words or behavior or displays any written material which is threatening, abusive, or insulting is guilty of an offense. Section 5 of the POA, which makes it a crime to use or display threatening, abuse, or insulting words within the hearing sight of a person. Blah, 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 you get it. If I say something mean to you on the internet, you have the right to call the police on me. Breaking this law would lead to a nuisance crime, or a fine. But that isn't a case for a hate speech on the internet in Britain. You can go to jail. Well, it happened. <laughs> it finally happened. I'm actually kind of happy that the trial actually finally ended. I was under the impression that it was just going to go on forever. But uh, we got the guilty verdict that we we all, we all knew it was coming. We all, we all knew that the guilty verdict was coming. And uh, we already kind of knew that that was sort of already decided before this even went to trial. It was claimed that I did, in fact, make this video for anti-Semitic reasons, and it was stated that I was intentionally trying to stir up religious hatred. Now, <laughs> I know why I made the video. I know what opinions that I hold, and the reality of the situation is I'm not an anti-Semite, and I made this video to piss off my girlfriend. This guy is going to jail for a fucking joke. That's crazy. Maybe you don't understand why hate speech laws are terrible. And I'll answer that with one statement. What counts as hate speech? What words would be considered hate speech? Who will make these choices? Will minorities be exempt from punishment if they're caught saying these words? 
Will the be a maximum amount of words to be categorized as hate speech? Hate speech laws cannot and will not be successful at curbing hate. It's just a shitty authoritarian band-aid for a problem that can never be solved. People hate others. It's just a fact of the human experience. We divide so we can be with those who are familiar to ourselves. People can tolerate each other but never truly coexist. What has happened to Count Dankula really makes me grateful that I live in the United States, where freedom of expression and freedom of speech are constitutional protections for all people. If you want to help Count Dankula and learn more about his situation and what is happening in the UK right now, there will be links in the description below. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like it if you like it, flag it if you're triggered, and uh, join the Discord, because that's where everybody be talking and stuff. Well, see ya!